विजन फॉर द नेक्स्ट डिकेट ये सरकार माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के कुशल नेतृत्व में बहुत ही तेज गति से प्रगति कर रही है और समाज के हर वर्ग तक विकास पहुंचे इसके लिए प्रतिबद्ध है अब आने वाले दस वर्ष का मैं थोड़ा आपके समक्ष रखना चाहूँगा मैडम स्पीकर मैडम स्पीकर द एन डी ए गवर्नमेंट हेडेड बाय ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी हैज लेड द फाउंडेशन फॉर इंडिया ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट फॉर टाइम्स टू कम माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने एक बार जिक्र किया था शायद रामलीला की याद फिर एक बार सबको आ रही है We have resolved many problems, which were coming in the way of realizing our full potential as a society and an economy. We are poised to become. We are poised to become a five trillion dollar economy in the next five years, and aspire. We aspire to become a ten trillion dollar economy in the next eight years thereafter. in the indian ethos anything which is good is supposed to bestow cause create and do good in all 10 directions kuch acha kaam karo to charo dishaon mein wo phailna chahiye aur uska labh charo disha tak pahunchna chahiye i will therefore lay out our vision for the 10 most important dimensions जो हमें 2030 तक इस, दे, इस देश को और हमारी सरकार को प्रेरणा देगा द फर्स्ट डायमेंशन ऑफ दिस विजन विल बी टू बिल्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फिजिकल एज वेल एज सोशल फॉर अ 10 ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकोनॉमी एंड टू प्रोवाइड ईज ऑफ लिविंग नॉट ओनली ईज ऑफ बिजनेस ईज ऑफ लिविंग it will comprise next generation infrastructure for roads railways seaports airports urban transport gas and electric transmission and inland waterways on the social infrastructure side every family will have a roof on its head and we will live in a healthy clean and wholesome environment we will also build a quality science oriented educational system with institutes of excellence providing leadership at the top the second dimension of our vision is to create a digital india reaching every sector of the economy every corner of the country and impacting the life of all indians digital infrastructure and digital economy of 2030 will be built upon the successes achieved in recent years in digitization of government processes and private transactions our youth will lead us in this endeavor with innumerable startups creating digital india and millions of jobs in the ecosystem making india a pollution free nation with green mother earth and blue skies is the third dimension of our vision this india madam speaker this india will drive on electric vehicles yeah yeah yeah, yeah. with renewables becoming a major source of energy supply india. india will lead the world in the transport revolution through electric vehicles and energy storage devices bringing down import dependence and ensuring energy security for our people wow. madam speaker jab videsh se hame tel nahi lana padega gas nahi lani padegi to mujhe aur renewable energy ke naye stotro aur tez gati se bijli denge aur electric cars mein log safar karenge mera maan raha hai videsh ki videshi mudra bachegi aur desh aatmanirbhar banega expanding rural industrialization using modern digital technologies 
to generate massive employment is the fourth dimension of our vision. This will be built upon the Make in India approach to develop grassroots level clusters, structures and mechanisms encompassing the MSMEs, village industries and startups spread in every nook and corner of the country. India is now on the way to become a global manufacturing hub in various sectors, including automobiles and electronics, defense and medical devices. Our rivers and water bodies are our life supporting assets. Our government has worked vigorously for cleaning River Ganga. Fifth dimension of our vision for India of 2030 is clean rivers with safe drinking water to all Indians, sustaining and nourishing life and efficient use of water in irrigation using micro-irrigation techniques. India's long coastline has the potential of becoming the strength of the economy, particularly through exploitation of the blue economy to ensure better standards and quality of life for a large number of people living in the coastal areas. I understand that in Gujarat, the day of the Pradhan Mantri Ji, this is the same thing with these people, who are working with the coast. Our efforts in the Sagar Bala program will be scaled up and we will develop other inland waterways faster. Our coastline and our ocean waters powering India's development and growth is the sixth dimension of our vision. The seventh dimension of our vision aims at the outer skies. Our space program, Gaganyan, India becoming the launch pad of satellites for the world and placing an Indian astronaut into space by 2022 reflect this dimension of our vision. Making India self-sufficient in food, exporting to the world to meet their food needs and producing food in the most organic way is the eighth dimension of our vision. High farm production and productivity will be achieved through modern agricultural practices and value addition. An integrated approach towards agro and food, processing, preservation, packaging and maintenance of the cold chain will be our focus of attention. A healthy India is the ninth dimension of our vision. We will be aiming at healthy society with an environment of health assurance and the support of necessary infrastructure. Our government has rolled out the Ayushman Bharat scheme. By 2030, we will work towards a distress-free healthcare and a functional and comprehensive wellness system for all. Such a healthy India, built with the participation of women having equal rights and concern for their safety and empowerment. <laughs> Madam Speaker, our vision can be delivered by Team India, our employees working together with the elected government, transforming India into a minimum government, maximum governance nation. This is the 10th dimension. Our India of 2030 will have a proactive and responsible bureaucracy which will be viewed as friendly to the people. With this comprehensive 10-dimensional vision, we will create an India where poverty, malnutrition, littering and illiteracy would be a matter of the past. India would be a modern, technology-driven, high-growth equitable and transparent society. Yeah, yeah, yeah.